You're listening to Daily Mana Devotionals. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell turned on so that way you get a new post notification every time we post a short devotion, with uh, which is every single day, a little short, less than five minutes long, usually a couple minutes long devotionals to listen to while you get ready for school or work or on your morning commute or whatever you got going on. And you can see adorable little baby Mia as she grows up. Right, baby doll? Yes, indeed. Today's devotion is called This Changes Everything. Uh, you can also hit the thumbs up. You can comment. You can shoot me an email at Daily Mana Media if you got something a little more personal you want to talk about, like a prayer request. Let's jump over into today's devotion and check it out. This changes everything. Scripture Christ has indeed been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. 1 Corinthians 15, 20. Hey, yesterday's was about Christ rising from the dead. So we've got a theme going on here on the random devotions that I've picked. Jaroslav Pelikan, longtime Yale professor, considered one of his generation's preeminent authorities on Christian history, was renowned for his extensive academic career. He published more than 30 books and won the esteemed Kluge prize as a lifetime award for his voluminous 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 <laughs> writing uh, one of his students um, however recounted what he considered his teacher's most important works spoken from his deathbed if Christ is risen nothing else matters and if Christ is not nothing else matters Pelican echoed Paul's conviction. If Christ has not been raised, our preaching is useless, and so is your faith. 1 Corinthians 15, 14. The apostle made such a bold statement because he knew that the resurrection was not merely a one-off miracle, but rather the pinnacle of God's redeeming work in human history. The promise of resurrection wasn't only his assurance that Jesus would rise from the dead, but his bold affirmation that other dead and ruined things, lives, neighborhoods, relationships will also one day be brought back to life through Christ. If there's no resurrection, however, Paul knew that we're in deep trouble. If there's no resurrection, then death and destruction win. But of course, Christ has indeed been raised from the dead. Verse 20. Destroyed by the victor, death loses, and Jesus is the first fruits of all the life that will follow. He conquered evil and death so that we could live bold and free. This changes everything. What differences does it make to understand the expansive hope of Jesus' resurrection? Where do you need resurrection in your life? God, allow me to see how Jesus' resurrection changes everything about my life and forever. Amen. Win Collier. This devotion comes out of our daily bread devotional by our daily bread ministries. You like that one? Is that a good one? Silly girl. That was a good one. Sorry, I can't pronounce the word voluminous or whatever. <laughs> Voluminous. That's a strange word. Not sure I've ever seen it before. Anyway, thanks for listening. Have a great day as always. And remember that Jesus changed everything when he died for your sins. If you want to know more about it, shoot me an email. Dailymanimedia at gmail.com or comment whatever you want to do and i'd be happy to talk to you about what it means to be a christian how to become a christian and everything about it thanks for listening god bless say bye bye say bye bye good girl good girl